Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Following weeks of bad news and disgruntled sponsors plaguing the NFL, one of the faces of the league elicited some much-needed laughter from fans on Thursday. New England Patriots quarterback Tom Brady shared his pre-draft resume with his 2.5 million Facebook fans in a positive post. Brady won throwback Thursday, writing, Found my old resume. Really thought I was going to need this after the fifth round. Included in the star's list of achievements, a bachelor's degree in general studies, an internship at Merrill Lynch, a summer job working as an assistant manager at a golf course, and that bit role on the University of Michigan football team filed under additional information. The future Hall of Famer has three Super Bowl rings under his belt and a supermodel wife on his arm. But when he graduated from Michigan and was picked 199th in the 2000 NFL draft, his future in the NFL was far from a sure thing. Okay, for all you Trekkies, Zachary Quinto says the third installment in the Star Trek franchise could be coming sooner rather than later. Quinto, who's doing a great job of playing Spock, said things are rumbling, so I have a feeling that we'll be in production sometime in the next six months. Chris Pine and Zoe Zaldana are expected to reprise their roles as Captain Kirk and Uhura, but J.J. Abrams will not return as director. Pizza Hut is testing a lighter calorie pizza called Skinny Slice. It's basically what a supermodel would eat over three days. Sharon Osbourne admitted that when she was younger, she tried to prove her love to Ozzy Osbourne by slicing her wrist. Geez, wouldn't a greeting card have worked just as well? According to a new study, chimpanzees are natural-born killers, and their violent behavior has nothing to do with corruption from human influence. They are the only animals other than humans to literally go to war. They like to throw rocks, or as they see it, deadly, unmanned, smooth, round drones. Five Idaho teenagers escaped with non-life-threatening injuries after their SUV crashed because one of the passengers pranked the driver by setting his armpit hair on fire. You know, they can probably get the dents out of the SUV, but that smell of burnt armpit hair is a completely different story. The Air Force has ruled that atheists no longer have to swear their allegiance by saying, so help me God. When asked if they'll be true to the Air Force, they can now just say, yeah, totally. Another wedding reception goes to hell, this time in Buffalo, and it ended up with 100 people in a fist fight. An eyewitness said that rival families yelled horrible things at each other that could never be taken back. What happened to the good old days when family members were on good behavior at weddings and waited until family reunions to be honest with each other? A tycoon has ordered 30 Rolls Royces to serve as transport for his guests at the exclusive luxury resort he's building in the gambling city of Macau. The Rolls Royces will be equipped with everything that you can imagine, including a sign that says, Please rob me. Walmart says that it will hire 10% more seasonal workers this year. They'll serve as reserves to replace any regular employees that go down when they open the doors on Black Friday. The medical community has started reminding everyone that it's time to get your flu shot. Of course, it comes free with the new iPhone. Merchant Golf Club in St. Andrews, Scotland has finally voted to admit women. Yeah, this isn't sitting so well with golf club members who are also members of ISIS. Hey, thanks for checking in. We have a new episode of the Reynolds Report every weekday. Watch for the Frank D'Angelo Band appearing across the country during their fall tour. Thursday in Toronto at the Markham Theatre and October 4th at the Casino in Halifax.